Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Bull here. Uh, this is just going to be a quick review of the Sony TX800. Now, I did already a first look video. You should go ahead and check that out, give you a little bit more details. But I'm going to give it to you straight. This is a $250 specialized audio recorder. Super ultra portable. One of the awesome things about it is how small it is. It's barely the size of maybe like one third the size of a normal voice recorder with CD quality recording sound capability built right in. It is in two different components. One is the main recorder itself and then the included Bluetooth wireless remote control. Plus it has the capability to link directly with your smartphone, both iPhone and Android operating systems to be able to remotely control your recordings so you can record and 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 monitor your recordings your your volume level meters from bluetooth range which is probably up to 50 feet away and uh, the recording quality i'm going to have some samples later on at the near the end of the video you should check that out so you can go and compare for yourself i'll probably also have the original sound file for you to also go ahead and download and listen for yourself as well this is $250. It basically comes with the recorder, the remote, a nice leather type looking case, and that fully houses both the recorder and the remote and also a headphone jack uh, adapter that converts your micro USB port that is in there to a uh, standard 1 8 stereo type of jack. You can also use the free software that is included. You can download directly from Sony to go ahead and manage your recordings. It's got the time, date, stamp, uh, track marking features. It's got all the features of most middle to high end voice recorders on the market right now, with the exception of being able to not being able to record in high res and also a maximum bit rate of 16 bits at four, at 44.1 kilohertz, which is basically CD quality. It's this would be great for students, people that lecture, people that have meetings, recordings, um, any general type of recording, probably not best for music or high end uh, band recording because you'll want to be able to have finite control and of your audio levels. And also the fact that it doesn't have a headphone jack makes it uh, puts it out of the completely professional category. Now I had a comment below on the first look uh, video that someone said that this is probably really great for vloggers and I'm going to have to agree because it's so small. It has a built in clip that you can go ahead and clip it onto the side of your shirt or jacket or pocket or anything like that. So it's ready to go. Plus it's got an over 15 hour battery life. So you can pretty much record all day long. It has a 170 plus hours of recording capacity built in. You don't have to fuss with micro SD cards because it's got 16 gigabytes built in and that's going to last a really long time if you record at the default 192 uh, bit rate that is uh, in MP3 format. Of course, you can also record in WAV format as well. Now, I've been using it for the past several weeks uh, just as a backup recorder and it has proven to be helpful and useful in some specific scenarios where I'm using an action recorder or a handheld gimbal recorder and I need to get that microphone closer to the subject so that I can get better sound quality. So that has proven to be quite helpful in that regard. Compare that if I brought a really big professional M50, this is just going to be this is just about the size of my mirrorless camera. I'm not going to be carrying this around unless I'm doing this for really critical recording needs. For general purpose recording, this does pretty well. Plus, it also has automatic microphone level setting, too, so that you can set it and forget it and start recording. So I can easily see this being used by uh, wedding videographers or event people who need to stick a microphone on someone. And just to make sure that they have that recording all day long on there, this would be uh, actually really great for that. Now, I found that the clip on the back has not been very great at um, alleviating my fears of this, of this thing getting lost since it is $250. But what I could potentially see someone doing is uh, doing some sort of Velcro or some sort of other sticky tape or gaffer's tape and taping it somewhere close to the subject uh, if needed, depending on a scenario, of course. Another thing, of course, is that it has, you can only use its built-in microphones, right? So pros who need to have a higher quality recording through higher quality microphones, this isn't going to be for you, obviously, for, for that reason alone. 
and um, you will probably want to get on some sort of right coat wind jammers that you can stick on top of this if you're going to be using it in an outdoor windy type of environment um, or just make sure that you block the wind from from getting uh, into the microphone uh, the, the microphone inputs uh, the holes here up at the top overall i think this is not exactly the best value for your money but it is a very niche product since it is so small and easy to use um, you could just press that one record button and it'll start recording within a second or two. And that itself could help you, uh, could help prevent you from losing any of those important audio recordings that you really need to capture on the fly or on the go. All right, so that's it for my quick review of the Sony recorder. I will go ahead and let you and evaluate the sound quality near the end of this recording. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. If you are interested in purchasing this, please consider using my affiliate links down below, uh, of which I get a small percentage of anything you buy through Amazon, um, and it won't cost you extra to do, and it will help support my channel and me in creating future videos like this. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the audio comparison samples between a seven or $800 recorder, a $500 mic me, which I've also done recording of, and then finally the $250 ultra portable recorder, uh, basically the size just a bit bigger than um, half a dollar uh, coins, a, a, a big, a nice stack of them, about five or six of them. All right, thanks for watching. This is a simple recording testing. Okay, the setting may or may not be high enough on just right here, mic sensitivity low. All right. So I am using a Bose sound link right here. And we will be doing a sample test comparison between three of these recorders. This, of course, is the Mic Me. This is my best portable recorder. I think it's the PCM-D500 or something like that. Or M... 10, I, I forgot, it's not the 100 model. And then of course I got the ICD uh, TX800. I'm gonna have it setting on uh, mic recording low and we shall take a look and see what the recording's gonna sound like. I'm, I'm just recording this through a sound file that I have online. And I'm gonna move the speaker back so you can see right here and I'm gonna go ahead and start recording here. We'll compare between all three. Now I don't have the mic me level set up properly. We shall see.
All right, that concludes the sound sample test. Uh, I'm just speaking directly in front of all three of these units right now, of course, with the Sony being smack here in the middle. And uh, you can go ahead and judge for yourself what you think of the sound quality, whether or not it's good enough. Please realize that what you're listening to here on YouTube directly is also separately compressed. And that is just something that, um, that YouTube will do. So you're not going to get the highest quality from here. I may provide links down below to the original sound files so you can go ahead and listen to them for yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.